Kaylee's studio and just spooling around quilting. Being a long arm machine quilter, I see quilts every day and many with borders. I know that borders may not be your favorite to put on because it takes a little time, but when you do take the time to put them on properly, it helps your quilt to be squared up and also helps your machine quilter not have to have waves or tucks when she's quilting. The first step to adding borders to your quilt is measuring your quilt top. We're going to take three measurements. Our first measurement is 36 and 5 eighths. Our next measurement is the center of your quilt, which is 36 and 3 eighths. And our third measurement is the end of your quilt, which is 36 and 5 eighths. You're going to take the three numbers and find the average of the three. You're going to take 36 and 5 eighths plus 36 and 3 eighths plus 36 and 5 eighths then divide by 3. Your number is going to be 36.54. You're going to round that to the nearest eighth of an inch, which is 36 and a half. Now that we know the average of our three numbers, the 36 and a half, that's the number that we're going to cut our borders to be. Now that we have our strip cut to 36 and a half, we're going to fold it in half. And I'll put a pin in it. And we're also going to fold our quilt in half, find the center, and put a pin in that also. Now we're going to line up our two pins, and pin the center of your border onto the center of your quilt. Then you're going to pin the edge of your border to the edge of your quilt. And do the same with the other edge. I'll also throw a couple extra pins in to keep it nice and straight. I put the extra pins in because while I'm sewing, as I'm running along the edge, I can pull this tightly so that I know that my border piece is going to match up perfectly with my quilt top. Using our border technique, I've sewn on our side borders and pressed them. Make sure to press your borders before you take your next measurements. So we're going to start on the side again. And I have 20 and a quarter and my center. 20 and a quarter and my other side 20 and a quarter since all of my measurements were 20 and a quarter I know that that is the number I will use to cut my next two borders I'm going to pin it in the center as I did before and I'm also going to find the center of my quilt you may think that this here is the center of your quilt because you can see by your seams that that would be the center. But that's not always the case with quilting, so you always want to double check by folding your quilt in half and pinning. Now we're going to do as before and line up our pins. Making sure to pin the center first and then our edges. I'm also going to throw a couple extra pins in to make sure the edges of my quilt and my borders stay put. I've sewn on my last two borders and now my project is complete. I could make my project bigger by adding additional borders using the same border technique. We use this process for every border that we put on our quilt, no matter what size. I hope this video helps you with your borders. Happy quilting!